You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. My old academy, there are programs where you want to be. They're the top echelon. They play the best teams in the state. Great traditional power, powers if they've blown them all out. Bill Jeske's been a fantastic coach for a long time. Uh, for what he gets over there, um, and doesn't have a lot of players, but what he gets, he, uh, he performs well. Uh, they, they perform well for him. They play hard. Uh, obviously, they, they gave us a struggle last year. Um, we might have taken for them for granted. Last year's team played them, I think it was 14-7 or something like that at halftime. And I think they, they want to come in and, and just see measuring stick where we stand. They're physical, they're tough, they've got speed. Uh, Bill does a great job. We think we're going to be a playoff team, and this is definitely be the greatest measuring stick we're going to see. Welcome to Well Met, everybody, for the CN100 Game of the Week today. It's a crossover battle in the Catholic League as Paul College Prep takes on Loyola. Welcome, everybody. Jim Blaney along with Don Johnson and for DePaul College Prep. And at some point today, either you or I are going to call him Gordon Tech. I guarantee right. that happens. They have a big game on their hands today. They come into this game 5-1. and one. They're firmly in the playoff picture in 3A, but they need to keep winning. And it's going to be a good test today against one of the better teams in the state. Well, this is going to be a real challenge from Loyola. is playing at the top of their game today. So they're going to have to not turn the ball over, take care of it, and really play their best football to come out on top today. If you go by the IHSA tiebreakers, Loyola is the number one team in the state. And if Loyola wins this game today, they guarantee themselves of opening up at home in the playoffs. They just want to keep on rolling down because this may be the best balanced team between offense and defense in the state. Well, when I talked to Coach Holosek before the game, he was all smiles, and he knows they're on a run. But the main thing is to maintain composure and keep challenging yourself each game to be better. Gary Anish will kick it off for DePaul Prep. They won the toss, they opted to defer to the second half. This is Sam Taylor, the defensive back. Gets a good return going up the middle of the field. Bounces off the initial wave of tacklers. Now trying to get to the outside, and he does. Sam Taylor has one man to beat who has the angle on him. Look at the convoy of Loyola blockers, and Sam Taylor will take this the distance for the touchdown. Loyola strikes first. 89 yards on the return. Well, Taylor takes this. He's really aggressive coming up on this kick, and you see him just stay with it, keeping his legs moving bouncing to the outside, and then it's a track meet, but look at all those Loyola jerseys getting downfield blocks. Two, three, four, and he makes the cut back. It's easy money. And look at how many guys decided to not throw blocks at the end because they realized if I hit the guy in front of me, it's going to be a block in the back. Yeah, that, that takes a little concentration and knowledge of the game, but look at all those Loyola jerseys downfield making blocks, and then he reads it, makes the cut back, and what a way to start the game for Sam Taylor, 89 yards. High snap, Anish has it blocked, and it is going to be picked up, and it's going to be taken into the end zone for a touchdown by Frank Doherty. 25 yards on the block punt recovery for a touchdown. Loyola has two special teams touchdowns in the first two minutes, 33 seconds of the game. I think he, did he kick that into the back of one of his up men? He may have. Zatella put pressure, it was pressure inside, but it looked like it may have hit one of his own players. Yeah. I, I think that's exactly what happened. Yeah, it, it, it looked like it went off of uh, Ray Seward, who was the up back, but Zatella was there to force Seward to move over. The MO for DePaul College Prep, just get positive yards every snap of the football. It's when you get behind the chains that you find yourself in trouble, as they did in their first series. Gladstone, he'll keep, turns upfield, has a first down. He's out to midfield. Actually, his knee touches the 47, but it's another first down for DePaul College Prep. A Gladstone's been averaging about four yards per carry as a runner. Good read fake, goes off tackle. It's a design off tackle play. He's a pretty good size guy. Clifford fires, touchdown Loyola. 13 yards on the scoring play, finds Thomas Smart for his sixth touchdown catch of the year. He threads this one right into the window, a nice route by his receiver. He had another look at it from another angle, but the, the ball comes out quickly 
for a 13-yard touchdown pass. 8.45 remaining in the second quarter. Clifford looks off the linebacker, but wow, what a play by Stiegel coming up. He was being blocked on the play, and he was able to get away from Jack Bedovinak, and then very nearly intercepted that. Loyola thought they had that screen all set up, and now it's third down to one. Now that's a little film study and also athleticism out of Stiegel, because offensively he's a receiver, and he's one of our top athletes, so he's just getting after it. He's just playing good football. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes, or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.